What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I just want to share with you how to enumerate SMB. This is part of my goal to complete the cyber defense challenge in Try Hack Me. And if you go to the first introduction here, I'm working on SMB today under network services. So I'll be sharing with you how I'm doing that. And if you're just curious, I actually have a roadmap for myself to complete that room. So this week here, I'm just doing the first part, but as you can see, until the end of February, I'll be going through the whole cyber defense section here. I've already done 21% of it, like introduction to networking and everything. But if you go to network services, which is the one I'm working on this week, you'll notice that I've done the getting started understanding SMB. So if you're interested in following along, make sure to do this on your own. There's a lot of things to read and understand. I'm more interested in showing you the technical side of things and you can always read and try to understand. I deployed my machine for this room. It's on 10, 10, 238, 41. So I need to first conduct an NMAP scan and you do this for every system. If you want to enumerate SMB, you need to first do an, an, an NMAP scan. Right, while I'm signing in here, let me show you some resources that I really like. Here's an uh, SMB checklist. You need to have a checklist. And I have always found that this is a very, very helpful checklist. When I see SMB ports open, I always make sure to use this checklist here. It's just easier that way. So I'll link it in the description. Make sure to understand what SMB is and also use this as a checklist. I also have some notes that you have to write yourself, common things that you write. You can use the NMAP scripts, which you, we can hear on 139 and 445 on Windows systems. And also SMB client syntax. You need to just have this down, easy to know. But for Windows, here's a link that I use and, of course, the notes that I just shared with you. I also have a Git page here and a few examples of what I have done. So that's SMB for us. Once Kali Linux starts here, we'll run an MMAP scan. All right, so in my Kali Linux, I already have a folder called Enum SMB because I always like to work in folders. Then we just go back here. We ask to conduct an MMAP scan. Then, of course, see how many ports are open. SMB ports are usually not high. Nmap minus SV minus SC. So let's see which how many ports come. This will not scan scan all ports. This will just scan the top 1,000 ports, but that's okay. All right. So after Nmap is done, we only have three ports here. And remember, I only scanned the top 1,000 ports here. But I do see SMBD is running, and here's a version. So you can already go and try to see if this version is vulnerable for exploitation and if everything else. But for now, our first answer is going to be three. All right. Let's get started with Enum for Linux. Conduct a full basic enumeration for pen testers. For starters, what is the work group name? All right. So Enum for Linux is a tool that you can use to enumerate SMB shares. And if we go to our, our checklist here, you'll notice that it's uh, one of the tools that you can use here. So a new for Linux minus A, then the IP address. Capital A, I think, is more inclusive. So we're just going to do that. So this tool will go and enumerate our SMB and tell us if there's any work group. It will tell us information about the domain, if there's any, and some users sometimes, if it finds any, which is really good. So right now, we got a domain or work group of work group. We also found some shares. Here are some shares for user profiles which are shared, which is interesting. So you just have to know how to use this tool to find information that you want. So let's answer some questions here. What port is SMB signing running on? Well, we have two ports from our NMAP scan. We have uh, 139 and 5, and that is correct. Yeah, so 139 and 445, that's from the results. You can see this from Nmap. Then let, let's get started with Enum for Linux, and we did that. What is the work group name? The work group name is somewhere in here. You see the domain or work group. In this case, it's called work group. What comes up as the name of the machine? From Enum for Linux, you can find the host name for the machine, which is kind of nice. I think it's, the, yeah, it's this one. It's called Polo SMB. So this is where you find the name of the machine, the platform ID, 
In this case, it's a Samba Ubuntu share, and here's the version. So you have everything that you need here. Then uh, what operating system version is running, okay? We already found that it's this one. All this information here is valuable for you to be able to exploit the system was you are now knowing more about the target than you did before you even started. What share ticks out is something we might want to investigate. Okay, what shares? Let's look at the shares. Here are the shares. Net logon, that's just a default one. User profiles. I mean, if you can get into user profiles, you find their SSH keys, uh, whatever their artifacts are. So, of course, user profiles. Is it profiles? All right. So we just finished the enumerating SMB. Now we need to move to, okay, how do we exploit that SMB? So the same SMB is, is right there. So now we need, just need to find out, okay, what would be the correct syntax to access SMB called secret as a user suite on, the, on that machine, on this machine? Or oh, they didn't even, uh, they're not even using the same machine. The correct syntax is say SMB client, then the IP address, the share, that you want to get to minus capital U, then specify the user, then minus P for port. That is the correct syntax, and you can have this in your notes as well. But that's the correct syntax here. Now that we have the syntax, let's see if we can try to exploit this vulnerability. You can list users the name of the share and a suspected vulnerability. We're going to use the username of anonymous to the share that we found earlier, and we're not giving it any password. So, does it allow anonymous access? There's a few ways you can test this for anonymous access. Uh, profiles, or profile, that's the one that we are after. All right, and then of course the user is anonymous. No password. All right, we're in. So it does allow anonymous. The answer is yes. Have a look around for any interesting documents that could contain valuable information. Who, ca who can we assume this profile folder belongs to? So, ls, ls minus la, sudo is admin successful. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Working from home dot text. That's the only one that is interesting. Usually I'm looking for, oh, there's also a dot ssh file here. So there's a dot ssh file all right so we need to steal all these things here i'm going to exit for now so i can be in a clean directory so i need to be in my machines a new smb okay so once you're in a directory then you can start stealing and everything will be in here all right ls so i'm going to do a get mostly for this one I would like to get this one, working from home.txt. So I'll steal that file. You need to put quotes if there's spaces there. cd.ssh. The only file that's interesting in there is going to be get id underscore rsa, like that. That that would do it. Then we can exit. All right. Now let's answer some questions here. Who can we assume the profile belongs to? Well, from what I just stole here, Uh, John. Okay, this must be John then. All right. What se what service has been configured to allow him to work from home? SSH. Okay. We know we now know this directory the same. or say dot SSH. That's what they're asking for. We already found that, and we got in and we store things. This directory contains authentication keys that allow. Which keys is most useful to us? The one that is most useful to us is ID underscore RSA. That's the key that we will use to get in. Download this file to the local machine. Shmod 600. Yeah, you need to make sure that it's 600. ID underscore RSA. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. Now, using this information that we've gathered here, can we try to log into the server? What is smb.txt? Okay, so we should be able to just SSH into the system. So using the information that we have here is John Cactus. To SSH, we just need to say SSH using John's last name. You could have tried John too. 
touch as add. Then we need to say minus i to specify id underscore rsa because we want to use that file and see if we can get in. It's asking us to accept. Let's edit the host. And we're in as John. So if you clear ls cat smb dot text and of course we just enumerated smb here i hope this room helps you get some grounding on smb enumeration and exploitation there's obviously more that you can do with smb than what was what, what we just covered here but i hope this really helps you if you can please complete the learning path that i'm on is this one the cyber defense the learning path and as you can see i've done some po a portion of it i'm doing it by myself i'm on 22 percent you will learn a lot do not neglect the introduction here otherwise if you like this please remember to like and subscribe otherwise i will see you next time